Church of Jesus Christ choir to come forth with a selection as the Lord shall lead them where he found choir. The Lord is blessing them. After which, we're going to present our speaker to come after the choir in the person of Evangelist Sheila Phillips. Let's receive them in this order by saying hallelujah. Hallelujah.
and laid him at that rich man's table. That rich man didn't have no compassion on him. He lay there and he waited for just the crumbs. The Lord has moved us from the back of the line to the front. He's read a table in the presence of our enemies. Bishop talked about communion. That's our life. Let us have laid there full of souls, waiting for just the crumbs from that man's table. And I sat there and I thought about it. And honestly, let me show right there. The Lord changed my thought. Yeah, I know about the evidence. But he gave me this. He said, it's my time. My time has come. My time has come. So you can examine everything about us. But your time has come. You and only you know what you need of the Lord. What kind of deliverance, what kind of help, whatever it is, you know what your time has come. Now if you choose to hang on to it after today, it's on you. Because it brought us to the altar, to his house, to be blessed. That man laid at the table of the rich man and he just waited for crumbs. He was so hungry. I wondered why to myself, why would they bring him every day, every day, every day lay him there and hold him all day to give him some crumbs. But something happened. Lazarus died, and the rich man died. Lazarus died, and he was taken into the bosom of Abraham. All that suffering, that's right. No matter what we're going through, no matter where we've been, no matter what else comes at us, it's all going to be worth it all. He took the pain away. Even the dogs have a compassion on Lazarus. The dogs came and licked his swords. But then the Lord said, right, that's enough. That's one thing I love. In my falling, I could have busted my head. I could have busted my hip. I got my body falling apart anyways. But the Lord didn't let it go all the way. He just, he just kept me. Like in a, 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 a cocoon. I feel so hurt, but I'm good. But Lazarus, he ended up in the bosom of Abraham. A safe place, a wonderful place where he had no more tears, no more heart, no more sores, nothing. He didn't have to worry about that. But then the rich man died. And I noticed in the scripture, it said that he was buried. Here's the trouble. In hell, he lifted up his eyes. Being in torment. I don't know what he did all his life. But one thing I do know, if you suffer for Christ, you will reign with Christ. Every tear, every pain, every ache that we go through, Lord, I thank you. He said, just put your trust in me. I'm here. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Have I ever left you alone? Have you ever been out there on the water? He looked at Jesus walking on the water. And he said, Lord, if it be you, bid me to come. How many of us don't look at the, the wind and the waves most spirit, and you tell me to come out there and I never walked on the water? I'm coming back to Lazarus. But think about it. The Lord said, come. Long as we keep our eye on the Lord, we can weather the storm. The moment he took his eyes off of Jesus, he began to see it. But the Lord is so good. He reached God. The Lord knows what's in us. Back to Lazarus. And as the rich man lifted up his eyes in hell, he saw it was like a gulf between them. He said, if you could just let Lazarus go and dip his finger in a glass of water just to touch my tongue, maybe to put some of the fire, some of the burning. And the voice came back to him. There's a gulf between me and thee. And he couldn't do it. He said, well, let me say this. I got five. Let's do this now. I got five brothers.
was back in that world, if you were to send someone back to tell them, maybe they would come. Where am I? Go no, with me. There are five brethren. Yes. That he may testify unto them, mm -hmm. lest they also come into this place of torment. It was a place of torment. We came through those doors like everybody else. And the water call was made, and we got up, and we came down to the altar, and the bishop was here then, he's gone. And he asked whoever was preaching that Sunday, he said, do you want to be saved? Yes, I want to be saved. He said, do you, you've been baptized in Jesus' name? No, sir. Do you want to be baptized? Yes, sir. Took us down. And then he took us there, to that watery grave. Because we heard the gospel. I made a change. Bishop made a change. I was in that world. We all were in the world. Please don't look at us as though we've been here all our life. I haven't been an angel. I ain't going down the path where I came from. Can you excuse that? Just know we was in sin. We were all in sin. But we saw a better way out. We found a better way out. It was here all the time. But we didn't know it was here all the time. The song says, you were there all the time. All the time, Lord. When he reached out his hand for me. I was lost and undone without God. All right, then his son, when he reached out his hand for me. Lord, I feel somebody going to just give it to Jesus. You feel it? You feel it? Somebody's going to come to him this morning. I trust that. And you don't do nothing. You get prayer for the condition that we're in. Listen, make the trouble in the city, and I'm coming back. Those that are shot. Our young people, the different ones, those doors should be packed that we couldn't get even open for the people. But the enemy has a mouth. But we're here and we're a lighthouse in the city along with other churches. Please don't think we're the only one. All right? Don't get that in your head. There's other churches preaching the gospel for people to be delivered because we love the Lord. And we know what he did for us. So I know that if you go ahead, I'm sorry. Abraham said unto him, mm -hmm. They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. Moses and the prophets. Why don't they turn? They've been preaching and going on. Why don't they turn? Excuse me. My list is very dry. Go ahead, Elder. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, mm -hmm. but if one wake unto them from the dead, they will repent. If one went from the dead. Mm, they will repent. I think I heard about that man who was crucified on Calvary's hill of Hillside. He went to the grave and God rose him from the grave. And he gave the commission to the apostles. You think people just guess 3,000, 5,000. But as time went on and life kept going, people stopped looking to Jesus. For the help. You know why? Because it cares of this life. Amen. You open your mail now, you can open it with a check. You ain't even got to go in. Just cash it. Yes, That's how good it's got. But where will it take me? What will I do when it's all gone? And I got to pay that bill. What happens then? Go ahead, Elder. And he said unto him, He said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, mm -hmm. neither will they be persuaded. The one rose from the dead. That's the truth. That is the truth. Jesus rose, and it's on record. But no, they don't want to believe it. They rather say that he's God. And this is the conclusion of that. If I say he's God, then I don't have to be perfect. So soon can be perfect like God. So if I say he's God, God can't hold me because he's God. But let me, I hate to wake you up with this. He's not God. He's a man approved of God by miracle, signs, and wonders. Anybody that came in contact with Jesus, ah, they can tell you they got the evidence. Ah, ah, I wish I could just get this across this morning. Your heart don't have to stay heaven. Your heart don't have to stay Sickness don't have to stay. And guess what it says? Me and Jesus are going to skip through all Jesus. Has Jesus ever touched anybody in here today? It has been touched. Do you have the evidence? What's the evidence? Tell your neighbor I got the evidence. No, they don't believe you. Say, I got the evidence. We shall receive power. You shall receive power. 
ask Lazarus. Come on. You don't believe me? Ask the woman with the issue of blood. You don't believe me? Ask blind Bartimaeus if you don't believe me. Yes, sir. And if you don't believe me, ask me. Lord doesn't desire for us to be sick. 
Why should we be sick when he already sent the healer? Why should we be burned down when he already sent the deliverer? Why should we be oppressed when he already given us a doctor? Why should we continue in sin when he already given us a savior? Paul says, what shall we say that shall we continue in sin? That grace may abound.
we have no better sense than to come to you again. And we will come to you again. And we will come to you again. And we will come to you again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Touch somebody today. That they may be filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. They're seeking the Lord God. God in the name of Jesus. Bless you right now. Hallelujah. Sanctify right now. Heal and deliver in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that is not like you know. We will do it right now in the name of Jesus.
Give it a call for an answer. Show us. Sure.